Yo boys, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the good old fashioned Razzo dude. And, um, of course, we get a good lobby after all this time. So first, I get up to about tw 2380 or 90. And then I was like, okay, well, we're doing good. Finally getting a solo shuffle. And my power goes off. So I lose, I go from 2380 or 90 to 2200. So okay, whatever. Uh, we get it back, so we do two solo shovels, and we kept our MMR, so we went like 4, 2, and 5, 1. Boom, straight back up to about 33, 55. And then we had this game. So this is my third solo shuffle, and it was looking real good. It was going to be an easy 4, 2, 5, 1 for me. And um, I've never had this happen before. Um, the game ended, and I didn't get in... We didn't get any, nobody got rating or loss rating, and nothing happened. Uh, all, everyone got a 30 minute debuff that you couldn't queue again for 30 minutes, but nobody got rating, nobody get, lost any MMR, and I'm 90% sure uh, the HPAL was exploiting, so he was definitely, he definitely was doing something. It's just, it's a coincidence that right as the round ends and he was gonna lose, all of a sudden, the game just ends by itself. It could have just been a coincidence, but I have a hard time. I, I feel like it's not a coincidence. I feel like he, he did something to force it to do that. It's never happened before, and this, the, the, the timing is just too coincidentally. So, I this would have been a huge point game, by the way. This would have been a, a massive point game for me. But I actually didn't get anything. So this would have been, you know, well over a 70 point gain. So this would have been about an 80 point gain had I not randomly. So this is this and this is both in the same name. So first my power goes off, and then I have this happen in the same exact day, the very next queue. Like how much, how much luck can you get? The on top of all of this. On top of all this, this was the one comp, this is the one class that I can actually beat by just healing. This, this, is not, this is the one comp that I can actually, okay, if I play good, I can actually win. It's not an evoker to where they just purge all my hots and then just kill somebody 100 while I'm in a DR stun. But, um, so yeah, that's how that went. And I was fuming because I thought he left. But then I realized, I was like, mid-loading screen, I realized that I didn't get rating for it. Because usually when somebody leaves, you get the rating and they'll lose the rating and all that good stuff. Yeah, no, there was just a blank screen and it just went into the loading screen. I was going to put a ticket in, but I was like, okay, let's be honest. If I put a ticket in, is Blizzard going to refund me the rating that I was supposed to get? No. So, no matter what, I was never getting that rating back. Um, so, it is what it is. Is it annoying? Yeah. The one thing I hate more than anything is wasting time. So I all that together was, I, I just don't like wasting time. When I'm doing something, I have a very, you know, small amount of time that I can play. And whenever I do play, I have to do like if if I'm gaining rating, I need to gain. If I'm losing rating, then I need to lose and get off. And I'm pretty much just need to get it back. So this this entire game was getting my rating back that I lost from my power shutting off. So this 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 game right here would have got me well about this would have took me at about twenty four thirty or something. It would have took me past the rating that I lost and more, which is what I needed. And of course, the one game that I needed to actually go through with, it doesn't go through. So now I have to do another solo shuffle, hope that I don't get an evoker, win the game, and then on top of that, if I lose and I'm going down rating. All because, for some reason, Blizzard decided it was a good time to uh, screw me over. And, you know, I, somebody messaged me, the Boomy messaged me after, he's like, he, he was asking if it was the same thing for me. Because it, it wasn't just me, it was everybody. But I deserved that win in that lobby. I played pretty. I played pretty well. I mean, I think I played pretty well in this lobby. Um, I could have done stuff better, but at the same time, I won the game. I don't deserve to not gain the rating that I won. I mean, it's only 2,400, but at the same time, 
my MMR, my MMR was super was like 50 rating above. So that 5-1 or 4-2, I'm pretty sure it would have been a 5-1. Would have been pretty insane for me. I'm pretty sure I was at 4-2 and it was at 6-6, but I'm pretty sure I would have went 5-1. It's just annoying that that happened, and there's nothing I can do about it. But it is what it is, and we push on. So now we have to queue again, hope that we don't get a evoker, and if we do get an evoker, if anybody didn't know, as a wrestler druid or as any other healer that's not an evoker, it's incredibly hard to beat them. Their purge, especially when you're a hot base class, is one of the worst things that in life. It's literally, I'd say it's at this rating, it's probably harder to um, beat an evoker than it is at any other class in the game right now. I've just never had so much struggle f beating them. It's just there's so many of them. And, you know, that's how that goes. I'm going to work on the um, Assassination Rogue guy, but I was just super annoyed by this. So I decided to upload it. This guy's literally running around the pillar lining me, but thankfully I think I top him off maybe. Hopefully. I bash him on the trap, good old fash. But... I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do to get my rating, so like I don't think I can put it in a ticket or nothing, so it is what it is, I guess. But it is pretty annoying that it happened, because again, um, I don't get any good lobbies, so I get one good lobby in five or five solo shuffles. So I need the the lobbies that I need to win. I need to win. So. Um, and it's kind of unfair that these guys didn't lose rating even though they did. They played bad. So if you play bad, like if this was me, I would have lost all the rating possible. But uh, coincidentally, these guys didn't lose or gain anything. So if they were doing bad, let's say they were 1-5 like the h was, he didn't lose a single thing from that. And I didn't gain a single thing. So from them playing bad or me doing good, I get punished. And they don't get punished at all. Because I just wasted my time. And I... I play good. I deserve the rating. If this happened to anybody else, this would have been insane. Thankfully, this wasn't at, uh, like, uh, on my, like, you know, for rank one or anything. But it's still annoying. It's still, like, aggravating that it happened at all. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do about it. Which, it, again, it would have only been, like, 80 rating, but that rating's still there. Like, I don't want to waste my time sitting on this game trying to sit in a solo shovel, trying to gain 80 rating. Like, I just got very lucky this lobby, which never happens. So, um, trust me, it's definitely not the best. But, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. We're pretty much just doing good old-fashioned heals. And you'll see by the end of this video, um, my luck has just been terrible. It has been catastrophically terrible. And trust me, if there was a live chat in Blizzard, I would have. There would have been words said that were un, un you know, comprehensible. Blizzard would have faced my wrath there and then. But unfortunately, uh, Blizzard doesn't have that anymore, to where you can actually talk to a person and a human being. So, um, yeah. And trust me, I thought this guy left. Because I was hyped. I was like, bro, easy dub. Easy. And then come to think of it, I didn't gain a single thing of rating. Oh, you should have saw my reaction. It was, thankfully it wasn't as bad as when my power shut off. I was pissed. Let me tell you, this was at 11 p.m. I happened to wake up and I couldn't sleep. So I just literally woke up. Like, and I just got on. I was like, okay, I'll queue solo shuffle. The first solo shuffle I get in out of 30 minutes of just AFKing, the moment I get in a solo shuffle, power shuts off. Oh my god, you should have just seen the... If I had, I should have recorded it. Oh, it was terrible. I was... I was just... Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I'm not going to lie about that one. Now I have to... Like, the funny thing is, on my druid and most of my characters, if you look at my threes, I'm almost, like, negative at, like, 1,600. But, like, it's just funny how, you know, I'm actually a really good player overall. But, <laughs> yeah.
Uh, but, um, obviously, um, somebody's out to get me, let's be honest. I'm just being real. I'm just saying. It's it's a coincidence that the H file just happened to just... I don't think he did it, or he was exploiting. I doubt... There's no way. It's never happened before. If there was an exploit that he knew, that nobody else knew... Because he was like 300 CR. So, it's not like he's losing anything by losing. So, it's not like, oh, he's losing... Um, like, he's 2400 MR at like 300 CR. The Hunter literally has 30 games played, and he's literally 2400 I, I don't know how it's possible that these people are 1300 rating and they're almost negative and they're 2400 MMR. How is it possible? Literally on my rogue on assassination, I guarantee I'll be like 2200 and I was literally 30 I was literally 3300 the on the first season. Yeah, I'll be 2200. So how are these people getting 2400 MMR? It's unbelievable. But um yeah, that yeah. That, you'll see. I just I need this to get to the end so I can show you what I'm talking about. Just show you what I am talking about so you understand the wrath that I'm upholding in my mind right now. My brain wants to shout some words right now that would instantaneously get me demonetized. This happened a while ago, but I, just just watching over this video, I'm starting to feel the anger of like, like it's bad. It's like the yeah, it's bad. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much that. You know? That's that's pretty much that. And I'm not gonna lie, I still believe Solo Shuffle is still more fun than 3's. I have never played, like, Arena... Like, the thing is, I've never enjoyed playing 3's. Like, even when it was in... Even when I was getting my Gladiator when I pushed with my brother and so It was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun then. But it was still not as fun as queuing like twos. Like high rated twos games. Or like doing carries. I love that so much. Threes I've just never been into. I've, I've never just. Like I've never had fun doing it. Like I like I like facing good players and all that good stuff. But it just. It hasn't been enjoyable. But. And it's even worse now. I think the only way I'll enjoy threes is. I, I just don't think I'll enjoy it, to be honest. I think I'm, like, past that stage of enjoyment for threes. Like, I've never really enjoyed them. I just think threes are just based off of, like, it's more about PvE in threes. Like, as weird as it sounds, like, in twos, when you play high-rated twos, if you guys saw my videos in Shadowlands a long time ago or whatever, when we were facing Naj and Aegis and Peekaboo and all those people, and Mud, back in those times... If you messed up one thing, you lost immediately. If there, you, the, the amount of outplay that you had to do in twos, um, that high rated, were some of the most ungodly content that has ever been created on my channel. Like some of the like, you like, me me and my brother, playing that was fun. Actually having to outplay and messing up. You lose because you messed up. That's how it should be. If you mess up and you play, if you do something incorrectly and somebody counters you off of it and you lose, that's exactly what I like. Because then they're, then it's like, okay, well, I can do this differently. I can do this. It's not, oh, they just PV me down and I'm literally, there, like, like right here. They literally just kill my guy with no CC on me and there's n nothing happening. Like that right there is what I hate. And that's exactly what threes is. In twos though, it's a little bit different. Now, 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 twos is like that. It's just oh, like if you guys don't know, twos right now is okay. Well, you're, nobody's dying until unless you're playing double DBS. Nobody's dying until 60 to 70 percent damp, and all it comes down to is whoever has no mana left. That's it. That's twos. That's threes. That's everything. I hate it. I can't stand it. Especially double caster comps like Affliction Warlock and SP and stuff like that. It's, it's never been as boring as, like, Arena's just, I'm hoping next expansion is just a fast-paced, like, one-shot expansion. Literally just make it Shadowlands one-shot. I'd rather have that than this. I hate dampening games. I cannot stand it. I don't think anybody enjoys it. I'd rather just everybody one-shot than have this. Like, it's just, it's unbearably boring. And that's just that. And I know people get upset when I say that. Because they're like, 
they're coping about a game that's never going to be what it used to be. But I play it regardless because we're addicted. Most people that are still playing this game are addicted. That's just, that's the fact. I don't think any, I think mainly, I don't think really, I think it's more about people um, being addicted than actually, it's more like a job to be honest. It's like you you log on, you get your caps, and then you just you're kind of just done. That's how it's been for me for a very long time. And trust me, this right here, I was already having a bad day. So th this after my power shut off, and I'm telling you, with all the evokers I had to face, this was the hardest season I've ever pushed solo shovel, and I've actually had to try my life out on one of the best healing classes in the game. Like on my H files and stuff, I play my H file. I couldn't beat Evoker. I, tr like the outplays I've done, is crazy. I I'm gonna play H file later on on another H file. But here, as you can see in a second, uh, the game's in the end, and you'll see what happens. So the round goes to the next round, but then you'll see it cuts off. I don't know what that what happened or if it, I, I just don't understand what happened. But you guys can let me know in the comments what what happened here. Like, it, was this an exploit by the H power, somebody else, or was this just a coincidence? I feel like it's way too much of a coincidence to not be an exploit from somebody. Like, what are the odds that it just happens like this? Like, it's never happened ever before. It's never happened. So why now? Why all of a sudden is it happening? I don't understand it. Like, the server is not shutting off. I don't understand. You'll see here in a sec once we kill this guy. So you'll see the round goes to the next thing, and then I still I have the rounds won. So you can see my rounds are won. So what goes on in the next game? And see ya. So we go to the next round, and then done. GGS. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.